In this video, we're going to talk about roots and powers and using the Casio FX260 Solar 2. Okay, so let's say I want to take the square root of 8. The square root of 8 has an index of 2. Well, it doesn't show here, but it, there is. Okay, on the calculator, there is no root um, 2, just the square root. So to do this problem, we just press 8, then shift, square root, gives us the answer 2.828. This one's the third root of 1.81. So the third root, there is a third root key over here, as you can see right there, where the plus or minus. So this one is 1.81, shift, plus or minus key, and it gives you 1.218, okay? Now, this one's the fifth root of a half, there is no fifth root here. And the way to do this one is that we're going to have to use the um, x to the one x to the one over y key. This five is the y and this half is the x. So we're going to do the half first. One ABC two. That gives you half. Then we press shift x to the y key because that's the x to the 1 to the y okay power and what are we going to type here we're just going to type in the 5 equals and that gives you 0 0.8705 yes i know that might be a little confusing but this index really is a power but a um but it's a fraction okay um, this is one of the reasons why roots and powers are connected to each other. Now, if you use something like the Casio FX300 ES Plus, you'll find out that um, entering that information is a little bit more easier. As you can see over here, there is a key where it has a box, square root of another box. So you can put the index and a number in there. Okay, But this is an algebraic calculator. Algebraic calculators are... Uh, way different than these calculators. Okay, let's do this one. This one is 3, take away, and then it's going to be the 8, and then shift y to the y to the power of one, uh, 1 to the y, then the index of 4 equals 1.3182. So it's doing the proper um, orientation in terms of, uh, of order of operation. Okay, let's do this one. This one's 12 square root, which is shift x squared plus plus 27 shift square root. It keeps the value of square root in memory. Press equals 8.660. Okay. If you're liking this content, please give it a thumbs up, please uh, subscribe, please tell your friends, please tell your teachers about uh, this video. Okay, let's do this one. This one is going to be a little bit different, and just because we're dealing with this calculator, um, we're going to clear this. Here's This is a negative, and I can't press negative here to show me a negative. Okay, What I need to do is I need to do this math first which is the 16, right? And then we're going to go shift x to the y because it's going to give me the x to the 1 y power. We're going to type in the 5 and then we're going to press equals to give me the answer. Then I'm going to put the negative in front of that. I'm going to divide by 14 equals a negative 0 0.124. Yes, a lot more steps um, but that's because we're dealing with this calculator. And it's the same thing if you have a TI-30XA, actually. Very similar um, to the steps. Um, but if you have something like a, a TI-30X2S uh, or a, uh, you know, a TI-30X Pro or even this one, right? the TI-34 multi-view, 
These are all algebraic calculators, and they do that differently, okay? Um, but if this is what you have, this is what you're going to have to do. So I know that was a lot of steps. You can pause it. You can rewind it, rewind the video, and then uh, play it again, write it down. Um, eventually, it becomes muscle memory. The more you use the calculator, the more it's going to be more intuitive. At this time, because you're just using it, it's really challenging. You're like, wow, that's a lot of steps. Yeah, it's, it's you're programming the calculator to give you the answer. And don't forget that the, that the calculator, a lot of the times, is a checking for understanding tool. It's for you to check your understanding. Sometimes you have to do these by hand. In this case, I'm not, I'm, I'm doing this, these more uh, using the calculator. Okay, let's do this one. Three squared, that's nine. You see, you don't even have to press equals. Nine, right? X to the Y, five equals five, nine, zero, four, nine. This one, four, I'm gonna have to type four and then the negative times three squared equals, so it knows the order of operation, negative 36, nine times negative four. This one is going to be five, negative, and we're going to square, gives you 25. So what it's doing is it's taking negative five times negative five, which is 25. Some calculators will give you negative 25. This is not an algebraic calculator and it won't do that. So what is the big deal? Well, if you do seven, take away five squared, it's going to, this is not going to be seven plus 25. Watch, seven, take away five squared equals negative 18. Seven take away 25 is negative 18, okay? So it's doing the right operation. This negative five squared for this calculator is going to be positive 25. Keep that in mind. So two, right, to the power of three negative equals and that's going to give you 0.125, okay? Some calculators will give you the uh, fraction form. All right, so let's do 3 and 1 fourth, which is equivalent to the fourth root of 3. These are equivalent. This is a power, this is a root. And these two are equivalent, and thus you study these two together. For, so for this one, we say three, right? And then we say shift x to the y. So we can get that x to the one over y. And then we can say one abc four equals, right? Oops, something went wrong here. Uh, let's try that again. Three, right? Shift x to the one to the y. Ah, we're going to just press 4 equals. There we go. 1.316. I forgot. The 1 over 4, okay? You don't type, uh, you don't type for y, you don't type 1 over 4. It's already done for you. Okay. Now, all right, let's see if I can... So the next one is 3 to the 1 fourth power, which is equivalent to the fourth root of 3. These are equivalent. This one is an exponent, this one's a root. And this is why we study both of these subjects at the same time. So let's do this one. 3 to the 1 over fourth power, right? Because this index of 4 is the denominator. Um, so we say 3, shift, x to the y, and we're going to type 4, equals 1.316, right? When you're typing y, right, this y, you don't say 1 over 4. The 1 is already there for you. Um, fourth root of 3, right? And this one, what we're going to do is exactly what we did here. Right? 
because there is no fourth root. And we've been doing this x to the 1 or y key all this time. And so 3, right? Shift, x to the y, 4 equals. So we didn't do anything there. It's the same thing, same steps. <clears throat> because on some other calculators, it's done differently, especially in the algebraic ones. And in this key in particular, actually, not quite true. Let me see. Uh, this calculator, I think, um, here it is, x to the square root of y, right? So this key does have it, or well, this calculator has it. This is a TI-30XA, okay? That is equivalent to the x to the 1 over y. Okay. Okay, and on this one, <clears throat> this one, let's put parentheses. And you can see it has this code here. Don't worry about that. 2, right, to the power of 3, right? And then we can say equals divided by... 5 squared, which does it automatically, close the parentheses, and then we're going to square it again. And that gives you 0 0.1024. Note, when I did 2 to the 3, I pressed equals and then divide. If I didn't press equals after the 3, then it would probably be thinking that I'm adding something to the 3. Okay. True, that's a, that's, that's a little bit challenging. Um, but the cool thing about this calculator is compact and it has a lot of neat features uh, that I think uh, you'll, you're going to really like. Again, take your time, review your steps. Um, you'll, do, you'll do great, but it takes time. You have to have a desire to do it. So if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please tell your teacher to share it in the class. Okay, and also um, in this channel, there's much more that you can look at. I hope you have a great semester. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.